Hi, my name is Maria and this is my channel MH Books and this is probably the most difficult day for lighting I've filmed in so far. It is horrendous. I have had nightmares here. I, if I turn around, I'm <laughs> My Women in Translation TBR. I am starting off with the books are also my thrillerathon books and they're lovely. Um, I have one Japanese one written by the beautiful Natsu Kurino, that's her there at the back, translated by I think it's Steven Schneider. Who's the translator? I should put the yeah, Steven Schneider. They should put the translators where you can find them easier in the front. That I mean, like they're not getting the recognition they like. Actually, with Japanese um, fiction, I've been finding recently most of it is translated by Americans. And Steven Snyder sounds like an American name to me, um, which makes me feel like all Japanese people are very American. So this shows you, you know, and they live in a very American life, and maybe they do. But <laughs> it does show you how the translator is important. That's me going back in the light. Um, <laughs> it's, doesn't it? So it's, it, you know, important um, thing to note. Um, the translators are really important. And one of the books I picked that cover most of the categories for the actual um, um, Women in Translation um, readathon actually really depends on this translator. But we'll get to that. So this one is, as I said, it's for Thrillerathon. Uh, so that's on Saturday and Sunday still. That's the last two days of Thrillerathon. And the first two days of Women in Translation is the Saturday and Sunday as well. So this covers um, both. Um, so it can, it can read for both. And it is a story about a woman in a box factory who murders her abusive husband and needs to help with the people in the box factory to cover it up. And I think there's just one of the women who helps more than the others in the, in, in the factory. And things get a little bit out of hand. I don't know more than that. I hope that's more or less correct as a synopsis. Um, it's, it, the blurb says it wants a masterpiece of literary suspense and pitch black comedy of gender warfare. Out is a moving evocation of the pressures and prejudice that drive women to extreme deeds and the friendships that bolster them in the aftermath. So looking forward to this, as I'll be looking forward to all of these books. If I don't get to read them in this, I'm thinking about doing uh, in September a catch up on all the books. Below there is where I keep the books that I should have read from a TBR pile for the last three or four months that never got read. And so maybe I'll do a catch up the month of September, the whole month of September would be catching on books I never got to read because I read too slowly. Um, the next one is Irsa. I do not pronounce her last name correctly. It is in my TBR um, video for the uh, trailer -thon. Um, Why did you um, lie? Um, it's more of a traditional thriller and this is incredible. Here he is standing on a pillar of rock, hardly any bigger in area than his flat, surrounded on all sides by the freezing ocean. This is no place for a human being to spend an hour, let alone the whole night. His thoughts return to his dream, whitewashed concrete spattered all over with blood, shiny black pools on a stone floor. All of a sudden he remembers how the dream ended. There were four people to begin with, to return to land. It's a pity you can't remember if he was one of them. So I think I said anything. This, this one gives me chills. So I um, hope to be reading it soon if I don't get it done. Chances are the reading pace I'm using. I'm sorry, that's why I'm saying the lighting is terrible today. Um, that's why if I don't get it read, I think, we need to, I think September needs to be a catch up month. Um, the next, so going through the prompts for the actual TBR, so maybe starting Monday when I'm going back to work, um, I plan to do a bit of walking on the way home, I can walk to the tram and then walk back, back to the tram, which we got five kilometers to walk a day just to get some um, exercise in. Um, so I'll be listening to audiobooks. So the audiobook I picked 
is on, a, on my iPad here. It is definitely not a novel and it is it also fulfills bonus point so um of uh, something written posthumously or after somebody died in case i pronounce that wrong and i have done off the ipad here and it is Anne frank um, a book i haven't read since i was about 10 so it'll be a reread um obviously it's her diary um while she was hiding um, from the Germans during the Second World War. So it's not a novel and yeah, maybe she's not technically a woman, she's a child, but otherwise I think it fulfills the categories. And it's something I've had on my Audible list for about four or five years now, so it's about time I actually read it. So another, another book which I, I picked because it, it, it covered a lot of the categories, it, it's number two um it's a book about childhood i put all these all the um prompts below by the way and uh, it's a book with a red on the cover it's quite a bit of red on the cover it's written it's published by tilted access press um the it's the impossible um fairy tale by han yujo it's a korean author um it's, it's also translated by janet hong so the bonus point was it something that's um, translated by a woman. It is difficult to describe it. So it's about childhood. So I suppose in the beginning of the book is about a character. I believe this is what it, it's about. It's about a character called the child who has an unhappy childhood and who maybe something terrible is about to happen. happen. She's not particularly a nice child. And then there's Mia, which is, I think it's Mia. I'll put it down if that's the wrong character name, who is the, the, the good child and the adults are, don't really appear very much. It's the second half of the book is about the author and the author plays on, on um, writes it from a first person perspective and it's about what it's like to be the author of a character. It's also about what it is like to be the character of the book. I believe. <laughs> this is from descriptions I've seen in Goodreads. It's a word play though so the the this book janet hong um had to, let's make sure i read her name right um had to um translate because she's she lots of word plays so some you know, words w could sound the same have but several different meanings in a language well obviously the, 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 that wouldn't happen in korean and, and english um so the wordplay is difficult, so she had to um, work with this. So this uh, this translator is almost rewritten the book. So this is will be nothing like the re the experience of reading Korean. But again, I think this is a unique opportunity to read something that the the translator had as so much input as the author in. Um, it's really in this case very much both the work and it's a collaborative e effort. I know it won't be the same as the Korean experience, but I'd like to see what the experience is like for me. So I am looking forward to reading this, um, as, as I will say. That's what you say, isn't it? You're looking forward to You wouldn't put it on your TV if you didn't want to read it. So the only prompt that I couldn't do was a, a, a language which I haven't read a book translated from yet. I have books on my shelves in... French translated from French, German, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, um, Icelandic, Norwegian, um, Japanese. I have no Cantonese or Mandarin, um, and no other languages I can think of off the top of my head. I didn't want to actually go and buy a book specifically from a language to do this because, as it is, I'm going to be hard pushed to run through these books. So, beyond that. Prompt. The only other prompt is that this is a bonus prompt too. The second bonus prompt is the Nobel laureate book written by Nobel laureate, and it's this I did have on my shelf. It's Herta Muller, who is Romanian, and it's translated by Philip Bohm. She writes in German, as it happens. So the folk that the fox was ever the hunter, um, and I'm just going to put it to reduce this just to this one little tiny paragraph. So Adina. Um, is a young school teacher. Paul is a musician. Clara works in a war factory. Pavel is lo Clara's lover. But one of them works for the secret police and is supporting on the rest of the group. 
and it says down below um, Bertimolo uses languages that displays the concentration of poetry and the frankness of prose as the Swedish Academy noted upon awarding her the Nobel Prize so good so there's all my prompt books but again some of those books I told you the lighting was bad tonight I, I can't move I better stay still <laughs> um, oh, I think I have a good just have some coffee because I do I do need some coffee after this. I mean I've been talking for eleven minutes and twenty seconds straight. And maybe I like it like this. I've never seen wrinkles when I'm away. Um Okay. <laughs> Whiten my teeth a little bit too, naturally, <laughs> with light. <laughs> um, I, I just give myself two alternatives because I will be in work next week. I'll be catching up all the work I haven't done the last three weeks while I've been off. So it is going to be hectic. Hectic, hectic, hectic. So The Iliad Crest is a book that I picked up in Foils in London when I was there in June. And I must go to London more often. I, it's from And Other Stories, the publisher. Um, it's by Christina Rivera Garza and translated by Sarah Booker. Always apologies if I mispronounce people's names, which I'm almost definitely going to do. I have my little receipt from files here because it's, it's, I allow myself to buy a book when I'm on holidays from each bookshop I visit. At least one book then I started to break the rules when I went to Forbidden Planet and I bought two and then I broke the rules when I went to Persephone and bought three so you see how you know this was the first bookshop I visited it was a staff recommends pick I do try to do that too it's and other stories I do have subscription to and other stories but it is only a four book a year subscription so I do try to get the books and miss out on um, from bookshops when possible so that we, we support the book industry as well um, as well as the postman um, I'm not going to go into these two because these are the, these are my bonus books except this one is another dark book um, and very literary um, a lot of them tend to be in my translated shelves um, this is the other one I translated from German it's Go and Gone by Jenny Erpenbeck. Ur Ur and her translator is Susan Bernofsky. And it's more it's about um, emigration or immigration in um, Alexander Platz in Berlin. Um, this was long listed from the Booker this year, wasn't it? It's an international Booker, I think. Um, so I have alternatives. I don't want to teach. So that's my TBR. There's the lighting. <laughs> and I hope whatever you're reading that you're enjoying it. I'm sorry, I'm just staring at the light. It's just shining on my face. My face is going really red. This is this. Do, do, do. See, this goes redder. It's one of those days. And I'm going to have to get used to. Um, I hope whatever you're reading, you're enjoying it. Um, good luck to everybody who's um, trying out for the trying out. Who will be reading in the Women of Technology and Science TBR? And if you like to subscribe, please do. If you like to comment, please do. I always get back to you, even if it takes a couple of days. And. If you have actually, you have a TBR and I haven't seen or come to on yet, please just leave a link to it below and I will definitely check it out. So goodbye for now. <laughs> Thanks for watching through this terrible night.